so this is the instructions to go along with your fifth lab. I will be starting with the instructions and pretty much following the instructions in the lab in the instruction session. The instructions for the SERPAC data process start on attachment E and go all the way to attachment F. But uh, most of the stuff you should guys should know how to do. The newest thing would be the creating strain files and constraints. Uh, and I'll get right on started. So the first thing that you need to do for this lab is change your survey display styles. And to do that, you go to stations, survey display styles, and then this window pops up. Drop down this list, right click, get field codes, and then it pops up your different codes. This is my data from last year. So I am going to change each of these to something uh, so for this, so go through, and I'm going to give them different symbols as well. This one. So for my center points, I'm going to use red. Something to remember about SERPAC and the way that this project works is that on the eighth page of the lab instructions, there is a table showing what string number and what color that corresponds to. If you want your marker colors to exactly match uh, the string colors, you'll have to use one of those nine colors provided in the lab instructions. You can use similar colors and it will still work just fine, but if you want the same exact colors, you'll have to use those colors. Uh, for the centers, I'm going to use a, a forward facing arrow. Control points I'll just leave the same. Left, I will make green. And then I will give it a left pointing arrow. And then right, I will make orange. Oh, that's tangerine for now. And I will give it a right facing arrow. So Y. And then display the music go to stations. Display survey stations from database. Something a lot of people who have come in to get help have been doing is when they display the stations, they put something in this area. Don't do that. This is your display label. So it puts a label on it. So it will tell you, like, this one is your control. This one has the level area of control point. And this one has a level area of your left and the right. And you don't want that. You want them to be colored. So you have to go to this box and scroll down and choose level area. And that will change your colors. So apply, apply. And there you go. Here are all of the points. Once you have everything with its own little display style, you're ready to make strings. Um, to make uh, the strings it's relatively quickly, you're making them the same way as last time, except for this time you are choosing to omit some of the data. So I will go to survey. Reports, string file of stations. I'm going to make the right string first. So I'm going to say right. And right here, I'm going to give it a string number of seven right here. And that will automatically, make, that will make it orange. And then I will click apply. Here, you need to define your query constraints. So to do that, I need to go in. And for my field name, I need to have level area. I'll leave operating the same. And for my constraint value, I'm going to use an R. This is the code I use for the right side. For you guys, you'll have something different. I'll just click apply. And then drag it out to the window. And you can see it's kind of not the same orange. It's similar, but it is close enough. But you can see that I didn't have to do any additional processing, didn't have to do any additional drawing. I just made a string for the right side. So I'm going to repeat that same process for the center and the left. For survey report string file stations. Uh, let's just do cent center. Uh, I used red for my center arrows, so I'm going to make my string number eight here. And 
then once again, I'm going to define my query constraints to level area. And this time I'm going to use my uh, field code for center. Apply again. Drag it on out there. I'm going to go survey again for the last time. Reports. Survey reports, stream file stations, and go through the same process again for the left. So I'll put it left. Uh, I chose green, so I'm going to give it a string number of five, apply, constrain it to my level area code for my left side, apply, and then I will go ahead and just drag that back out into my thing. And there you go. After all of the strings are created. You can still change the colors. To do that, I'm going to clear my display window. I'm going to drag the right string back out. And let's say that I decided I wanted the points to be blue. So I wanted my right string to be blue now. So I would pull up the lab document and I would look at the this table and I want it to be blue, right? So I need to change it to string number two. So to do that, I will go to edit string renumber. I will just click on the string. And since I want it to be blue, I'm going to renumber it to two. And boom, it's blue. The last, uh, I don't have it downloaded, but for your uh, plotting, You'll just need to bring the string file up that you guys used last time for the stockpile DTM, that topo of the big mine area. You'll overlay that over this and you'll plot the window as shown in the plotting instructions. Might have to finagle it up just a little bit, but your, your plot should look something along these lines where I can see, where you can see the points. Your points are displayed, your strings are displayed with matching colors. Links on, uh, in the plot instructions. Um, the last thing that is in the uh, instructions is how to combine the strings. This isn't something you exactly have to do, but you can do it. I'm gonna clear my window here. So to combine your strings, you hold control and you click on each of the three strings and I'm going to left click and drag them out. And then before I release left click in here, I'm going to hold shift. And what that will do is it will pull out all the strings. You can see down this left hand corner, my main graphics layer is now in this red text. That means I have on saved things in my main graphics layer. So I'm going to right click it and say save layer. And I'm just going to do strings. So that you don't exactly have to do this, but it is something that you will use later on combining strings and sandwiching them together like this in future classes. So I figured it was something to possibly mention at this point. And then I went ahead and got the experimental mine topo. I went ahead and got the experimental mine topo off of the canvas. And this is somewhat what your final plot should look like. It might be a little different. It would be different colors, might have it aligned just a little bit different, but this is somewhat what you should be plotting is this window right here. If you have any questions, email me, Tagi or Eugene, and we'll either tell you how to fix whatever you're going, having problems with it, something minor or meet you in one of the computer labs on campus to try and help to fix it. Because Serpac can Serpac can be Serpac.